Okay, I need you to hold up your hands and clap them together. So now you gotta wait one second and do it again. So if you were to plot the distance between the first and the second clap, it'd be more than 800 kilometers. This is because our Earth is traveling around the sun, and because our sun is traveling around the center of the Milky Way, and because our galaxy inside the local group is moving inside the larger Virgo supercluster, and because our Virgo supercluster is just barreling through the universe. So what this means is if you add up all the velocities and then compare those results to the cosmic microwave background, which is just the closest thing we have to a universal frame of reference, everything comes out to a little over 800 kilometers a second. Or, to dumb it down a little bit, we. I am gonna show you guys how to ruin a child's birthday party. Or make it better if they're into loud noises. Oh. Every party's gotta have balloons, right? Then you just need a piece of citrus, okay? When you squeeze this, the skin actually releases something called limonene, and balloons don't like limonene at all. Ah! You can do this all day. But, but Jace, how does it work? Chemistry, bitch. So, in a recent video of mine, I explained that if we sent a mirror half a light year into space, we'd be able to see a full year into the past. And not a lot of people understood it, so I'm gonna explain it for you guys. I got my whiteboard, I got my marker, I'm ready. So if we're on Earth, and we decided to send a giant, giant mirror into space about 10 light years away, and if we had the world's largest observatory telescope thing, we would theoretically be able to see a full 20 years into the past. So what this basically means, it would take the light from the Earth to travel to the mirror, and then from the mirror back to the Earth, 20 years. So you wouldn't be able to see anything before you place the mirror, but you would be able to see the entire 20 years after the fact. So it's kind of like looking into the past, but only after the mirror has been placed. So again, this is all very theoretical, but it is kind of a cool concept to think about. So if you were confused, I hope the drawing illustration helped you out. Drop a like if you want more space facts. One more facts in general, I guess. So this is my demon wallet, and I'm gonna show you how it works. Step one, obviously, is to literally sell your soul. I'm just kidding, there's a, uh, a secret fire compartment. So basically right there, you gotta put some lighter fluid, and then there's a little flint here that you can spark, but it does help to light it up already. Uh, to get it warm, and then the spark works a lot easier. It is something you have to be extremely careful with, and you're gonna get burned, so you can't really be afraid of that, but it is really cool to use on people because literally nobody is expecting your wallet to burst into flames. I'm gonna teach you how to make the world's most boring turbine. You see a piece of tinfoil. Cut that into a circle, and then cut it into a spiral. Then use some tape to get a skewer standing up. Balance your spiral on top of that skewer. Just add some heat. Go, best friend, go! Yes! But Jayus, how does it work? Physics, bitch. But Jayus, how does it work? Chemistry, bitch. But if you actually want to know, the plastic bag is made out of a polymer which has really long molecules that the pencil can just slip through without leaking any water. It's very similar to the reason why if you ever get stabbed, you shouldn't pull the thing out that stabbed you because then you're gonna die. Oh fuck, what am I doing? This is a bad idea. <gasps> oh. I'm gonna show you guys how to make an instant slushie without using the machine. You're just gonna take a soda bottle and then shake it up. And then you're gonna take that bottle and just put it in the freezer for about three to four hours. You'll also get a better slushy consistency if you put a bowl in the freezer to chill and use for later. And when you take it out of the freezer, it still should be mostly liquid. All we have to do is trigger it by releasing the pressure, closing it, flipping upside down, and then the crystals are gonna form and make the slushy. All right, after giving it a couple minutes, you can see we got a slushy consistency. Try it yourself. Okay, so really quickly, I need you to turn your phone brightness all the way up, okay? Now, I want you to stare at the dot that I just put on my nose. Don't move your head or your eyes and try not to blink because you're about to experience one of the coolest optical illusions that I know of. Just keep staring at the dot, okay? In a few seconds, I'm gonna turn the whole screen black and white. But if we did this right, it shouldn't look that way. And even when I do change the screen, don't stop looking at my nose. Just keep looking at it, keep staring at it. You ready? Okay, in three, Two, one, now. Okay, so hopefully for a second there, for the first time ever, you just watched a completely black and white video and saw color. But, Jayus, 
How does it work? Biology, bitch. It is Astro's first birthday today, and I'm gonna make him a cake. I took this treat for him so you look at the camera. <laughs> One cup flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then another bowl, an eighth cup of vegetable oil, fourth cup of natural peanut butter, and then a half cup of pumpkin, like puree, and then half a cup of applesauce. And once you mix all that together, you're just gonna add an egg to it. And then we mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. I put that whole thing in a cake pan, gonna bake this at 350 for 25 minutes. You can lick the spoon. <laughs> and then as like a frosting, we're gonna do half a cup of Greek yogurt and a fourth cup of peanut butter. Happy birthday, Bubba! Oh, he's devouring the cake! <laughs> oh my god. One of you guys in my comment section told me that if I ever have to erase pencils but don't have an eraser, that I could use bread as a substitute. And already the scenario seems fucking stupid. Like if I'm in a situation where I'm writing something and don't have access to an eraser, why on earth would I have bread? And I also kind of think they're fucking with me, but I want to try it anyway. So I got paper, I got a pencil, and I got bread. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna write my name really quick. And then I'm gonna take the bread and crush it into a ball. Let's see if this works. I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> I think I just realized that mirrors don't reverse their reflection. They send back exactly what lands on their surface. Like, yeah, sure, okay, I can write out a word, put it in a mirror, and it's gonna be backwards, but that's not because the mirror is reversing anything. I did, with my hand. The mirror's not playing any tricks. What you see is exactly what you get. Is this common sense? Am I being stupid? Or did schools teach us about this wrong? Here's some groundbreaking science things that happened that you probably didn't hear about because the media has been focused on uh, other things. Okay, so I think we all know what ALS is. It's the disease that Stephen Hawking had and the whole reason for the ice bucket challenge. Well, there's a 34 year old paralyzed man with ALS. He can't speak or even move his eyes. Scientists gave him a brain implant that allowed him to answer yes or no questions, but they quickly moved on from that and now he's able to spell out words. His first words were, I want a beer. And then he asked for them to play his favorite band, he asked for some curry, and then he said he loved his son. This is huge, not just for ALS patients, but any patients that have trouble communicating traditionally. And I feel like this is just inching us closer to being able to upload our consciousness to the internet. Stephen Hawking wanted to test that traveling back in time was possible. So he threw a time traveler's party, but didn't invite anybody until after the party was over. And the idea was that if time travel existed, a traveler would see the invitation and show up. But nobody did, and he won an award for it. There was a one in a 5.2 to the 60 second power chance that if you were to slap a table, all of the molecules in your hand would miss all the molecules in the table, allowing it to pass straight through. Granted, you would probably have to slap this table for a very, very long time, so the chances are low, but never zero. Oh! As you get closer to a black hole, time moves slower. So everything farther away would experience time faster and faster as you got closer and closer. One second for you could mean billions of years for everything else on the outside. And so if you were to fall into a black hole and look out of it, you would actually see the universe die with you. I bet you a like, comment, and share that I can make my janky ramp thing here shoot this marble into that cup off the end of that table first try only using math. I told you I have it, my flow fucking nasty, my voice fucking bad. to teach you guys how to make a tea bag firework. You're obviously gonna need a tea bag, something to light it on fire with, and then pro tip, uh, it helps to duct tape your smoke detector. Step one is going to be to cut off the top of the tea bag. Then you're gonna wanna like pour out the tea because you don't, you don't need it. 
You're gonna take the paper you have left and kind of space it out so you're left with this little tower. And you just have to light the top of it. And I lost my lighter, so we're gonna try it with a match. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Firework. Firework, yes! Yes! Dang, as how does this work? Physics, bitch. So in the same way that not every clear liquid is water, not every gas is oxygen. Mix together some vinegar and baking soda. This is gonna cause carbon dioxide bubbles to form and then you can literally just pour out the flame. Need a reminder about atmospheric <laughs> pressure? Take a can with some water in it, heat it up, and place it straight into ice water. Watch it get crushed. Example of property of impulse. If I throw an egg at the surface with some give, then it's fine. But if I throw an egg at a surface with not so much give, somebody's gotta clean that up. Jayus, how does it work? Physics, bitch.